a leader's seasons. Now, whether you're in a professional position of leadership or a leader of your own life, you, I, or no one can escape the seasons of professional or personal change. And since we can't escape them, since we can't avoid them, how you enhance your leadership and work-life harmony comes down to how you acknowledge what season you're in, accept what season you're in, and knowing what to do about what season you're in. Let's start with spring. Spring signifies opportunity, growth. These are the seeds that you plant professionally within your organization or on your team. These are the brainstorming ideas that you have that will propel you and your team towards your new definition of success. These are the advertisements, the projects, the marketing, the whatever that you need to do to propel towards success. Personally, these are the changes that you know when you make them and do them consistently, you will achieve your definition of success and the vision of your own desired lifestyle. That's spring. Take advantage of that season if you're in it right now. When it comes, make time and create time to develop and move forward. Summer, my favorite season. Some people's favorite season is winter, and I've spent 43 years falling more in life and trying my best to fall more in life with winter. I'm succeeding some, but summer's still my favorite. It's something about blue skies and white puffy clouds that make my day. It's an opportunity for fun, to celebrate, to relax and recoup. Think about your vacation and summer vacation. Now, although professionally, summertime may not last a long time, it's important that you create and take advantage of these times in life. Celebrate the successes and the wins within your organization, on your team, in your personal life, and in your relationships, and also in the lives of others. Take time and make time to celebrate those things. Make time and take time to rejuvenate and recoup. As a leader, you will not be as effective as your organization and your family needs you to be when you are burnt out, bitter, bored out, and grumpy. Maximize those summertime experiences and create them in your life. The fall. This is the time for harvest. All of those seeds you planted in the spring, it's now come time to harvest. This is the things that you wake up in the morning and need to be proud that you get to do. The job that you get to do. The family that you get to be in. The relationship that you get to be in. It's time now to do the work. It's time now to breed the results. So many times in business, or maybe you're an entrepreneur, or in life, you set the wheels in motion to succeed. And now success is coming in, maybe faster or bigger than you thought. How you handle that, how you manage that, will be your fall. That's your fall, that's your time for harvest, and that will not only elevate your leadership and work life harder, but also the leadership skills of those around you. Make time and take time to harvest successfully. Lastly is winter. And that cold breeze of winter can be harsh. Professionally in your life or personally in your life, you've experienced a winter. I've experienced a winter. Everyone has experienced a winter. And that's when things aren't going your way. The deals aren't coming. Money is low. Things in your personal life or in intimate relationships are rough or bad. The winter will test your leadership more than anything else. This is the time to understand why the winter happened. What you can do to prevent it from happening as bad as it's happening now ever again. This is the time to develop a plan. And I know plans are meant to change. Plans are meant to evolve. But knowing why it happened. What you will do and what you'll create so that when this time happens, if this time happens again, you'll be more prepared for it. You'll have other opportunities to string off of it so everything doesn't go bad because this winter hits. Guys, that's your seasons as a leader. You want to enhance your leadership, your work-life harmony, your organization, your life. Know what season you're in. Accept the season and know what to do. 
You now know what to do in sprint and create. You now know that to make time and take time to celebrate in the summer, recoup and rejuvenate in the summer. Harvest time in the fall, being able to manage all of the great things that you've created. And then in the winter, understanding why that winter came and what you're going to do to prevent it from hitting as hard next winter. Guys, if you like this, you're gonna like everything at youevolvingnow.com. It's Y-O-U, evolvingnow.com. And I look forward to being a value and impact, not only for you, but for your organization and your team. Thanks so much. I will see you next time and enjoy your evolution.